most, most artists have you know, terrible childhoods. And in a certain level, you don't have art unless you would die without it. I was a very shy and um, introverted child. Um, the world uh, in my mind and heart and body was more uh, real than uh, the immediate world around me of my family, my school, my friends. And I would, um, I mean, I would go home sometimes after school when I was young. And uh, I would tell my friends that um, I had to go shopping with my mother, and I would go to my room and just draw all afternoon. I think I've, I, I have a, uh, every right to that uh, the rotten childhood uh, <laughs> uh, side. And you, for example, in my my case, at birth, my mother, for some you know reason, uh, felt uh, she couldn't take care of me. So uh, there was an aunt who had just lost her baby, who was very eager to have me. And then uh, there was a grandmother, you know, who was ready to come and help her daughter in times of need. So I was, I was shifted, you know, around these three s sort of maternal uh, figures, all of whom uh, uh, gave me a tremendous love or uncritical love. You know. So the dynamic was, uh, you know, you have all the love you need, but then you don't know who your mother is. You know. Ich wollte auffallen. Und äh, im Dorf kann man sich vorstellen, es ist nicht so schwer aufzufallen, weil da gibt es nur wenige. Und ich war der Lehrersohn und das war schon etwas ausgestellt, diese Rolle als Lehrersohn, nicht unbedingt angenehm, weil man äh, da nicht so mitmacht mit den anderen. Die anderen machen ihre Sache und denken, der, das dürfen wir dem nicht sagen, dann lassen wir mal draußen vor. Also gut, so fing das an und dann habe ich natürlich überlegt, wie kannst du möglichst schnell auffällig werden, so dass die Mädchen dir hinterher gucken oder weswegen auch immer. Dann habe ich es mit Musik versucht, das war aber leider zu anstrengend für mich. Ich war zu faul, ich wollte nicht lernen. Wenn sie Musik machen, dann müssen sie wirklich ein Instrument, mindestens ein Instrument lernen und ich bin schon beim Klavier gescheitert. Dann habe ich versucht, Gedichte zu schreiben. Ich denke, das ist so die Karriere fast aller. Und die waren, ich war begeistert, aber die waren einfach schlecht, wenn ich sie heute wieder lese, miserabel. Ich habe alle, alle möglichen Dinge, die man leicht, schnell bewerkstelligen kann, versucht. Es blieb nur die Malerei. I guess my way of looking at the world is very much shaped by the fact that I grew up right after the war in a city that was completely flattened. Dusseldorf was 80 to 90 percent destroyed. So as a kid you take it for granted that that's what the world looks like. So. I wasn't amazed because I didn't know anything else than rubble and mountains of rubble and chimneys and half houses. So the first look at a different world was paintings. All children draw, but most children have the good sense to stop drawing when they reach 14. But I kept on drawing. And I'd also been, as children do, playing, acting. And also most children have the good sense to leave it to professionals as they grow up, but I'd continued. So at university I was both drawing and acting in different student theatre groups. And I was advised by everybody to, you have to specialise, you either have to draw or you have to act, but you can't do both, you'll be an amateur. 
So I decided I could not be an artist anymore. So I closed my studio, I sold my etching press, and I went to theatre school to learn to be an actor, where I discovered after three weeks I should not be an actor. So then I was no longer an actor nor an artist, and I tried to be a filmmaker. But I failed at that. I think one can just write one's biography in terms of being rescued by one's failures. And I failed at painting, and I failed at acting, and I failed at filmmaking. So I discovered in the end, at the age of 30, I think, I was back making drawings. I love the sentence in the Proust essay, I can only paraphrase, I, don't, I can't quote it uh, verbatim, but he says something like, you never in life live as intensely, again, as you did live when you were a child reading on these afternoons which you thought you were missing out on because you were reading. So as a child you thought, oh, I, I missed another afternoon. I missed another afternoon of life because I was just reading. I was so focused, so concentrated. I was so much in the book. And later in life you look back and you think, I never lived as intensely as, as a child reading on these long afternoons. That's what Proust says, and I, I, I think there is a lot of, pr of truth in that. I mean, I heard many of the most famous, let's say, Arabian night stories or Eastern fables. In fact, I heard them really uh, orally from my father, who would tell them to us as bedtime stories, in his own versions of them. Obviously, you know, he wouldn't read them; he would just simply tell us stories. Um, so, what the first time I heard about, you know, Ali Baba and the Forty Thieves, or Sinbad the Sailor, or or Aladdin, whatever, you know, was in these versions of my father. Um, I think even before I knew that there was a book that they came from. You know, I just thought my father was a very good storyteller. These great stories to tell. You know. As a child, I, I cherished all my books. I loved uh, Little Women and, and Pinocchio and, and Alice in Wonderland. But Peter Pan was really my favorite because that was the atmosphere and the world that I most lived in. And really, I thought it was possible because it was in a book that we didn't have to grow up. And when I was very small, I decided I didn't want to grow up, that I would stay about 10 or 11, and that was good enough for me. And uh, it was a big surprise for me. Actually, I was heartbroken to find out that we didn't have a choice. I thought we were just put on earth, and then we could decide what happens in our life. And, um, but I've never let go of that feeling. You know, I've never really felt that I've grown up. I think, you know, the specific thing with my childhood was the fact that there was no mother around. She had left the family, so I grew up with my father. And he was very occupied, but I, I can still remember at night sometimes I could tell him something about what I've read. And he was clever enough to take two minutes to listen to all the stupidities that I said about what I have read. And, and I think it's one of the lessons that I've learned that you always have to listen to a child. And I had the plants all gekostet. I had always gegessen from all of And I always thought, I thought always, die Pflanzen wissen, wie man lebt. Und äh, wenn ich genug davon gegessen habe, dann weiß ich das vielleicht auch besser. Weil ich habe immer gedacht, ich weiß nicht, wie man lebt. Ich äh, komme nicht zurecht. Äh, ich habe immer gedacht, dass, woraus bestehe ich eigentlich? Aus Haut, aus Fleisch. Und das ist alles sehr verletzliches Material. Und äh, das Material um mich herum im Tal, das ist alles ewiges Material. Es ist das Gras, die Bäume, die Steine. Und, äh, also es war so der erste, ich glaube, es war die erste Art von Vergänglichkeit, was ich gespürt habe, obwohl ich kein Wort dafür gehabt hätte. Mhm. Das Wort Vergänglichkeit wäre mir nie, habe ich nicht gekannt. Aber es war so, die Landschaft hat mich so in Frage gestellt. When you start to go into um, later life, 
you don't lose anything. You have your childhood, your um, uh, teenage period, and uh, your youth, all that is still in me. And each day I'm feeling it. So uh, there are many levels of age in me. I may not have too many days left. So uh, every day is precious, you know. Nobody would ever have thought that he would go into art. I mean, we don't know and we don't really have anybody in the family who does art in that way. You know, you, you, you give birth to children, but how they develop is, is beyond uh, you. You can educate them, you can give them as much as you can, but I mean, what's in them comes from generations back. Art is a family business, yeah? And it has to be like that. Friendship and family business, otherwise it doesn't work, yeah? And it's not about money or something, it's about passion and total hingabe to what you are doing. And this developed. And of course she's not only working with me 22 years, she's work working with me 44 years. <laughs> yeah. yeah? <Yes>. So <laughs> but this in is clear. Art in only. art and, But now you have to say what you think about the art. I mean, or what? Or well, that's, that's <laughs> very complicated.